While the electric vehicle market is growing fast with tough competition from Chinese carmakers and old auto giants, Tesla is quietly working behind the scenes on something big. Something that could change everything. This isn't just another update to an existing car. It's a totally new plan, an affordable Tesla that millions of people could actually buy. Even though the company hasn't officially announced it yet, many reports say this new model is nearly ready and could be revealed at any time. People are already calling it the Tesla Model 2, even though that's not the confirmed name. The most exciting part? It's expected to cost around $25,000. That's a price tag people have been waiting on for years. But this isn't just about a cheap car. This could be the Tesla for everyone. A chance for regular families, students and first-time car buyers to finally own a vehicle made by Elon Musk's futuristic company. If you're hoping for a brand new design unlike anything Tesla has ever made, you might want to lower your expectations just a little. The Model 2 will most likely look very similar to the current Model Y or Model 3. That's not because Tesla lacks creativity, but because designing something totally new takes a lot of time and money. Tesla is choosing the smart route. Reuse what works. By using parts from the Model Y and Model 3, Tesla saves on production costs and speeds up the time it takes to get the car out the door. This is a strategy used by many top car makers. Companies like Toyota, BMW, and Audi have done this for years. They build different cars using the same base parts so they can lower prices without hurting the quality or performance. And for the customer, that's good news. You get better pricing and still drive away in a high-tech, well-built electric vehicle. Now let's talk about competition. A few years ago, Tesla was far ahead in terms of cool factor and cutting-edge technology. But now, companies from China, like BYD, Xpeng, and NIO, are catching up fast. Especially when it comes to low-cost electric cars. That's why Tesla launching a car under $30,000 is not just about growth. It's a direct answer to this growing threat. There are already people holding off on buying a Model 3 or Model Y. They're waiting for something more affordable but still packed with Tesla's features. Great performance, autopilot, and advanced software. They don't want to miss out on Tesla's innovation just because the price is too high. Even with a lower price tag, the Model 2 is expected to keep that Tesla feeling. But yes, there will be compromises. The interior may be more basic, with fewer luxury details. The driving range might not be as long as Tesla's more expensive models. But for a price around $25,000, it will still be an amazing value. Elon Musk has said before that this model isn't just about making a new car. It's a big shift in strategy. Tesla wants to bring electric cars to the masses. The Model 2 is expected to be a small, smart, and simple hatchback. According to inside sources, it will be around 15% shorter and up to 30% lighter than the Model 3, which would make it just under 157 inches in length. That puts it in the same size category as cars like the Toyota Yaris or the BYD Dolphin. These are very popular cars in many cities around the world. That tells us who Tesla is targeting, city drivers, young people, small families and anyone who needs a compact vehicle that's easy to park. To keep the cost low, Tesla has trimmed away the extra stuff. The Model 2 won't come with flashy alloy wheels. Instead, it'll have 17-inch steel rims. You won't get double-pane windows or fancy paint options. Just the basics. But here's the thing. None of that changes what makes a Tesla special. The focus is still on efficiency, smart technology, and futuristic design. The exterior of the car will still carry that clean modern Tesla look. Expect to see the same slim light bar that we've seen on the Cybertruck, the Cybercab, and the Model Y. This design isn't just stylish. It also saves money and makes it easier for Tesla to build cars faster. Inside the cabin you'll find the same minimal design that Tesla is known for. The seats will be made of fabric, not synthetic leather. No sunroof, no heated seats, no ambient lights. The sound system will have 7 speakers instead of the 13 found in more expensive models. Yes it's simpler. But that's the whole point, keep it simple so the price can stay low. Tesla's famous touchscreen will still be front and center. It might be smaller than the one in the Model Y but it will still do everything. It controls your climate, your music, your maps, and your settings. By skipping extra buttons, Tesla cuts down on production time and parts, making the car cheaper to build. As for performance, the Model 2 won't be as fast as a Model S Plaid. But that's okay. This car isn't meant for racing, it's meant for daily driving. It will probably come with a single motor powering the rear wheels. Experts believe it'll go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 7 seconds and have a top speed of about 112 miles per hour. That might sound modest, but it's faster than most gasoline-powered SUVs or compact cars. And because of the electric motor's instant torque, 
it'll still feel zippy and fun to drive around town. The big question everyone asks is, what about the battery? How far can this car go on a single charge? Tesla is expected to use a 40 to 50 kilowatt hour battery pack in the Model 2. That should give it a range between 200 and 250 miles, depending on conditions. That's more than enough for most people who drive to work, run errands, or go on short weekend trips. Now here's the real genius move. Tesla plans to use LFP batteries which stands for lithium iron phosphate. These batteries are cheaper, safer, and longer lasting than the usual lithium ion ones. They don't heat up as easily, and they can be charged all the way to 100% without much damage over time. Thanks to Tesla's new battery plant in Nevada, the company can produce LFP batteries without relying on China. That's a huge advantage. And here's another number to think about. A 53 kilowatt hour battery made from LFP could cost Tesla only about $3,000. That's a big reason why this whole plan is possible. The Model 2 will also keep Tesla's 400 volt charging system. That means you can charge the battery from 0 to 80% in around 25 minutes using a version 4 supercharger. That's faster than many gas cars take to fill up, especially during rush hour. And in the world of budget electric vehicles, almost no other car can charge this quickly. The car's design, lightweight, aerodynamic, and simple, means it can get great mileage without a huge battery. That's how Tesla keeps the price down without giving up range. Now let's talk about one of Tesla's most talked about features, full self-driving or FSD. Every Tesla made since the year 2019 already has the hardware for FSD, including cameras, sensors, and Tesla's own AI chip. The Model 2 will have it too. But to unlock the FSD features, buyers will have to pay extra, around $8,000 or choose a monthly subscription. This is smart. If Tesla includes FSD for free the price of the car jumps too high. By giving people the choice to upgrade later, Tesla keeps the base model affordable. And for those who want to turn their car into a robot taxi in the future, the hardware is already built in. Speaking of robot access, Tesla recently introduced its plan for a future robotaxi network. This is where things get really exciting. Owners of the Model 2 could eventually put their car to work driving itself around town, picking up passengers and making money while the owner is at work or relaxing at home. It sounds like science fiction but Tesla is getting closer to making it real. That said, not everyone will care about FSD right away. Many buyers of the Model 2 will just want an affordable, reliable EV to drive themselves. But later, when the technology improves and the price drops, those early buyers will already have a car that's ready for full automation. Of course, building a car this affordable wasn't going to happen by starting from scratch. Tesla is using its existing factories, especially in Fremont and Shanghai. In fact, Model 2 prototypes have already been seen near the Fremont factory. Tesla also plans to use its powerful Gigapress machines, which can mold large parts of the car body in one piece. The latest Gigapress is even stronger than the 6,000-ton press used for the Model Y. It can form the rear of the car or even multiple body parts at once. This cuts the number of pieces needed, improves safety, and speeds up production. That's how Tesla can build millions of cars a year without raising costs. But all of this depends on one thing, the $7,500 federal tax credit in the United States. Right now, Tesla is able to offer the Model 2 for an effective price of under $25,000 because of this credit. But if the government ends it, things could get tricky. Some experts believe these tax credits could disappear as early as the year 2026. And if they do, Tesla will have to either lower the car's base price, which would hurt profits, or raise the price and lose its affordable image. Neither option is ideal. Politics could play a big role too. The relationship between Elon Musk and Donald Trump is uncertain. If Trump returns to power, EV policies could change fast and that could affect Tesla's entire plan. Some critics say Americans won't want a small hatchback with fewer features. But the numbers tell a different story. Compact cars like the Toyota Corolla, Honda Civic, and Mazda 3 still sell well, especially in crowded cities. And when you add Tesla's strong brand, excellent software and charging network, the Model 2 becomes a very attractive option. The challenge for Tesla will be clear communication. Buyers need to understand that the Model 2 is not a stripped-down Model Y. It's a new idea, 
A smart, efficient electric car for everyday people. Not fancy, not flashy, but smart and useful. Now let's switch gears to another big Tesla project. The Tesla bot, also known as Optimus. Some people are saying the robot is in trouble, but those rumors are false. Reports of Tesla canceling robot parts orders are not accurate. The company has only paused production for a few months, to improve the design. This pause is part of a bigger plan to get ready for the next version, Optimus Gen 3. Elon Musk has said this new version will blow people's minds. In China, two big suppliers confirmed that Tesla didn't cancel orders. They just delayed shipments while working on a new and better design. Tesla already has enough parts to build about 1,200 robots, and close to 1,000 units have already been assembled. However, the goal of making 5,000 robots in the year 2025 might be delayed slightly due to this pause. There's also been a leadership change. Milan Kovic stepped down as the leader of the Optimus project, and now Ashok Elaswamy, Tesla's vice president of AI, is taking over. This marks a big shift, from testing prototypes to getting ready for mass production. Ashok is known for turning big ideas into real products. Right now, Optimus Gen 2 has made a lot of progress, but there are still some technical challenges. The robot's joints can overheat, the arms can't carry heavy loads, the actuators wear out quickly, and the battery doesn't last very long. Tesla is testing new parts from different suppliers to fix these problems. Even so, the robot is already being used in Tesla's battery factory to move packs around. It can't do complicated tasks yet, and it's still slower than a human worker. But this is just the beginning. Musk's long-term goal is to make Optimus a household robot, able to clean, help with kids, walk dogs, and maybe even work in restaurants or hospitals. If Tesla succeeds, this robot could be everywhere. Tesla plans to start testing Optimus in people's homes in the second half of the year 2026. At first, it'll go to Tesla employees so they can collect feedback and improve the design safely. This pause in production isn't a failure. It's a smart step to make the next version even better. While other companies rush out half-baked robots, Tesla is carefully preparing for a big leap forward. And when that leap comes, it could change not just Tesla but the entire world of robotics. This is Torque Element, where we bring you the latest updates on electric cars, robots, and everything in between. Stay tuned, because the future is just getting started.